Next real notable fight of the night was a title fight for the middleweights. Elbin. Elbin fighting. Um, who did Elbin fight? Anatoly Tokov. Anatoly Tokov is a stud. I thought he performed very well in the fight. Elbin performed well too. I I feel extreme bias. I feel extreme bias from these judges and the commentators and everywhere around like the, the the things they say the way they talk things up it it's clearly one-sided and i i do believe those things can sway close fights you know elbin won unanimous decision win maybe i walked away to the fridge once or twice and missed some things but i thought i thought tokov did really well I thought he was doing well. I didn't look at the scorecards. I thought there was at least one round he won, maybe two. So I don't I don't know. I guess five round fight. He got edged out just enough in those rounds. But Anatoly Tokov hopefully will make some adjustments, come back because I thought it was a good solid fight. I just didn't see I just didn't see it going exactly the way the announcers were were pushing it. You know, I I really hate that. I really hate it. It's one of my pet peeves. Do you get what do you guys think of the bias of announcers pushing one one thing? I mean, could you imagine? It's been a long time since I watched football. Could you? I mean, do they do that? Are they like the Dallas Cowboys today? Oh my goodness! Look at that amazing two yard run! Wow. You don't see too many efforts like that these days. Is, is that the kind of stuff they do just to kind of push that team? Oh, my goodness. The Cowboys had their 37th pass attempt today. Zero receptions, but, man, quite convinced that Johnny Elbin is the best middleweight fighter in the world. Bold world words, bold words. Someone should place a wager with this man. There is a gleaming problem with this. And that is, who's he going to fight? He's locked into a contract with the US, with with Bellator. Unless he can get free and fight higher competition, because UFC tends to have they have usually nine out of the top ten guys in each weight class. Now you know we can have that argument about their rankings being BS, and it doesn't really matter because they're fixing everything, but. Still, I think if you talk to some independent rankers, some independent journalists, they would come up with the list. And it would be nice to see Johnny Elbin own his title or own his rank and use the ownership of that rank to challenge a higher rank so we could have an actual world title. Not a piece of jewelry awarded to the best fighter that night. Suckers.